you have and have those conversations with him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, let, me let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Look, look. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Yeah. I'm going to show you better than I can tell you. Of course we spoke about it. Yo, I asked him. I'm like, yo, bro, what's up, bro? Lil Dirk putting his man, what we doing? Look what you read that. I don't even want to say it on camera. That's how you feel about Lil Dirk. Can I read it out loud or not? Fuck it. I don't give a fuck. He's on the talking crazy about so me. Yeah, let Lil Dirk know how you feel about him. This is how you feel about Lil Dirk, Fivey. Tell him. Huh. So you, asked, <laughs> Dickhead. you say Dirk is putting you on. His response is, I F with Dirk, but he more like an opportunist than a N-word who really be putting on. You do songs with N-words when they already viral. Now look what Ethan say. What I said. I disagree. I disagree. Look what I did. I started posting all this shit on him. Little Dirk. Old track. Look, all the songs he did. You want to know, know some real yeah. shit? I feel like this is the day me and Fabi really started going at it. You feel me? I'm going to tell you how the doofiest doof ball when we finish. It's just one major idiot, like, cone ball. Like, just, just a loser of a You feel me? Just a loser of a You feel me? So I'm going up there. And then so thirsty to come. He like, yeah, 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 cool, cool. I turned around, you know, like, like, you know, just like little kids. And he said, yeah, Fabi, right, we gonna stay right here. I turned around, started acting crazy with the security guard. Now, boom, let me get to the real shit, the real just of the situation, right? Now, boom, I comes off stage. I perform successful movie viral with Nikki. I comes off stage like, yo, it's a it was a fight. I'm like, fight with who? They ain't like, yo. I called the nigga Lil E. It's a little, little, little to me. So, so the nigga was fiending, trying to get on stage. Security end up twisting his brains up. You feel me? So, so, so my son cost a model. And I wouldn't even talk about this if he ain't locked up. Because he's locked up for it. This is a real thing that really happened. He's locked up for it. You know, I don't do the internet shit. I don't discuss. But the nigga has the model. He just came home that same day from the feds, right? I'm going to get Dior up here because Dior has something to do with it, right? Now, not to say he has something to do with it. But, you know, that case is already finished and done. I had to pay Roland Lau $40,000 behind these niggas, You feel me? So, I went. I came off stage, security twisting somebody up. But this is why I'm on stage. I ain't know security twisting up. Costamato being an honorable nigga that he is, he went to go help his man. Mind you, this is one day home from. I'm talking about he came home from jail that one day and went straight to see me at Rolling Loud. You feel me? And he's an honorable nigga, so he ain't gonna let him go out and get beat up by security. So, and I'm only saying this because he's locked up for it right now. I don't know what they think of him like. He's in Virginia. I'm like, he just came home. You feel me? So. Boom. So now, uh-uh, stay right there. So now, as as that's happening, right? As that's happening, I'm looking around. Free, yeah, free costume model, because that's a soldier. You feel me? The heat, when he gets up and look, because he got jumped. When he looks up, the that he went to go help is gone. He ran. So the nigga is uh, over the fence running. He that one, you validated the whole situation, rolling loud. You feel me? And then you ran on your mans. Now, Dior went to go help Costamato and end up getting his ass in some, um, in some problems, you feel me, with the police. So they both had cases. The bozo is no longer around me. Because I, and that, that's enough, you know, I don't go to the internet, but there's a lot of reasons why I be cutting these things off. You understand? I be cutting these clean off. None of the, I don't tolerate no way. So once, and once I see something happen, it's like, you got to stay back from it. You got to separate yourself. So I left that Wherever he at, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know where that's at. He probably, I don't know where he's at. You know what I'm saying? For sure, these niggas need L7s. But these niggas ain't, these niggas not built like us and they not like us type of niggas. So it's like, these niggas just go about their life and just, you feel me? Get the fuck away from me. Right? So, Casamado's locked up right now. And then on top of that, on top of that, Casamado like, yo, you know what? F it, you ran cool. I need is to come to court, right, and tell court, like, listen, I didn't start the fight. You started, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, be honorable, because son just came home from the feds. He didn't even check in the probation yet. So that's why he, they gave him three, four years right now. He's back, back in jail, three, four years. You feel me? And, and, and all niggas had to say, listen, I started the fight. It was my fault, my problem. But you know, this is goofballs, and niggas can't do that. Now, 
the security team sued Roland Loud behind that whole situation. So me and Roland Loud went half and half. Me and Roland Loud put 40,000, 40,000 each. So we went 80,000 to pay that team off. You feel me? I was getting like, bro, all right, if I'm bugging, you go work for somebody or work with anybody for 10 plus years and niggas go on with your work and don't give you shit. Let me know how you feel. You get what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, we not even supposed to, this shit not supposed to get like this. You feel me? Imagine I'm I'm trying to talk to the nigga. Like, literally, like, you that fried out. You think you that lit. Like, you ain't even trying to, okay, all right. Then you just going on thing, talking, okay, all right. I still ain't saying nothing. Now you call it, come on, gang. Why you got it out for me? Yeah, I throw my shots at you, nigga. So what, nigga? We just throwing little jabs. It is what it is. But, yo, at the end of the day, I ain't trying to stop you from eating, nigga. Because guess what? Your kids, I love your kids like they mine, gang. That's just me, gang. I don't know. I would never try to do no shit like that. But it's like, yo, I really start thinking, like, why would... I'm caring about a nigga who don't give a fuck about me, bro. Literally, bro. Like, I'm really going mad, viral, doing all this crazy shit. Nigga don't really give a fuck about nothing but itself. Uh, so... We got wars in New York starting. Here we go. Let's go. I hate when friends used to be friends and they fall out and they start exposing each other business. Just how this shit be going. This how nigga shit get started. But Ether the Connect, he exposing five of your foreign messages he got with five of your foreign and allegedly five of your foreign called Lil Dirk an opportunist and said that Lil Dirk only want to hop on songs. Or, or upcoming artist songs when they hot He don't really look out for niggas Now what's so crazy about this situation These two homies And then you got a nigga that's not a homie So we got homies going at it with a, About a nigga who not a Okay y'all get what I'm saying though chat So let's see what he gotta say you ever have those conversations with him Yeah oh yeah like, let me show you Let me show like, you Let me show you Let me show you Let me show you Let me show you yeah, I'm going to show you better than I can tell you. Of course we yeah. spoke about it. Yo, I asked him. I'm like, yo, bro, what's up, bro? Lil Dirk putting his man, what we doing? Look what you read that. I don't even want to say it on camera. That's how you feel about Lil Dirk. Can I read it out loud or not? Fuck it. I don't give a fuck. He's on the talking crazy about so, me. Yeah, so let little Dirk know how you feel about him. This is how you feel about little Dirk, Fivey. Tell him. Huh. So you asked <laughs> Did you say Dirk is putting you on? His response is, I F with Dirk, but he more like an opportunist than a... N word who really be putting on. You do songs with N words when they already viral. Now look what Ethan said. What I said. I disagree. I disagree. Look what I did. I start posting all this shit on him. Little Dirk. Old track. Look all the songs he did. You want to know some yeah. real shit? I feel like this is the day me and Fabi really started going at it. I ain't gonna lie. All this shit weird. And what's weird about it is like. Bro, niggas are exposing text messages, like group chats and shit. It's like it lets you know how much a nigga won't clout. Like you mean to tell me y'all got a private group chat? You went to do an interview and bring the private shit to the public. Yeah, y'all might not be seeing out of eye, but that's private shit that you and only the guys know about. But now that's like you you painting a picture that that nigga is a hater. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I get it, though. If that's how you really feel about the nigga, you never going to fuck with the nigga again. You trying to show the people. But the nigga hater. This nigga even hate on Lil Dirk. But it still make you look bad. Because, like, nigga, you exposing and you a grown man. We know you don't give a fuck, but it's like. Bro, what you, what you jealous or something? What you going to be in that nigga position or something? Like, why you even going that hard? Like, it was that deep. You got to put text messages about him. You might as well just diss him and go at him. But you had to involve the little Dirk shit to try to look, make it look like he even be hating on Lil Dirk. That might how he felt at the time until he met Lil Dirk or met Lil Dirk and changed. You feel niggas' feelings can change. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? I might don't fuck with you today and meet you and fuck with you tomorrow. So I just felt like that was that was clowned out. Like what, nigga? You ex we got grown ass street niggas allegedly 
they street niggas, you know what I mean? Showing text messages and shit like that. Now, Dirk did drop a song called Opportunist before he went in. Was he coming at uh, 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 Fabio? Because I remember in the song Opportunist, he did say, dude ain't really a factor. He came through in the clutch. Dude ain't really a factor, but he came through in the clutch. And he, y'all go listen to the song. Y'all go, just go, go, y'all, if you watch my videos, I'm gonna put two and two together for y'all on some nigga shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> serious. Simple, I mean. Serious and simple, you feel me? But yeah, this nigga was slick. That was, that was, that was, that was lame. And then it's like, bro, it's like you low-key dick riding. Like, you going against your mans to talk about this nigga, like... This nigga, Dirk might don't never even fuck with you. So you just out of your mans. And this nigga ain't even gonna fuck with you. He talking about free the voice. Man, free smirk, yo. Man, oh, you dick riding. Don't get it fucked up. We f free smirk. And I'm with him on that. Free smirk. You feel me? I say this shit too. You feel me? So you can say I'm a little I'm, I'm dick riding just a little bit. But, bro, you threw your man under the bus to goddamn say free smirk. Oh, hell yeah, nah. You dick riding. So now, then the clip came out of Dirk, um... You know, listening to the songs and rocking with the songs, which uh, it ain't that deep. But I'm just a messenger. Y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what y'all think about the situation. Yo, Ether. Ether. You ain't have to put this out there, bro.